what's happening, people? Welcome back to Football Therapy. How are you all doing? Are you all right? I hope so. With me, your host, Jan, obviously. <laughs> now, I apologise. There was no video yesterday because I was incredibly hungover after celebrating 30,000 subscribers on Football Therapy. So, huge shout out to you guys. A big, big thank you for everyone who supported and indeed enjoyed the content here on Football Therapy. I just started the channel before the season. It's gone really well. Obviously, you guys are enjoying it. 30,000 of you and counting. So I took a day off. But regardless, I want to thank all of you for subscribing, supporting the channel. And you know what? If you've yet to subscribe, why not subscribe? Click it. Click the bell notifications icon. That helps. Why not like the video to help me out? Because today is an exciting video. Let's get into it. Now, Jaden Sancho, the player that everybody wants. Everybody wants at their football club. But also probably believe he's not coming to their football club. Heavily linked with Chelsea over the last weeks, months. Recently, it's been more and more evident how he is not moving in January because of how well things are going at Dortmund, how... He's having a great time at Dortmund, an amazing individual season that he would not want to stop the momentum of. Dortmund are in the next round of the Champions League and they actually have a genuine title challenge. Ah, <sighs> oh, oh, hot. So there's that. But the Sun, yes, I know, the Sun, but hear me out, have reported that a deal is indeed reportedly close for Sancho coming to Chelsea in the summer. Now, listen, Duncan Wright reported this from the Sun. And Duncan Wright is often right. He called such deals as the Mateo Kovacic to Chelsea deal when others didn't. Um, when Thibaut Courtois was pushing for an exit. When um, Kepa came to Chelsea, he knew about that. He even reported on the Harry Maguire to United story. Generally, he's reported on stuff that's happened. So there's a little bit of positivity, hope and faith for you there. Now, I'm sure I don't need to tell you Jadon Sancho is having an insane season in the Bundesliga this season. Even in the Champions League and other stuff, he's doing really well. He was the first player in all of Europe's top five leagues this season to reach double figures for both goals and assists. Last season, he broke the Bundesliga record for the youngest player to get to 15 goals. He's the youngest player to get to 22 goals. His minutes per goal involvement ratio is absolutely insane. And he's still a teenager, 19 years old. It's at the point now where people around world football, European journalists, everyone's saying, yep, he is the real deal. And it's not just because he's in good form and is offering good offensive output. It's his style of play. He's very, very quick in terms of his change of direction. He can dribble. He's not like an Eden Hazard dribbler. He's more of a sort of point and squirt and go. He's very good at combinational playing and he'll pop a shot off very early. The kind of player Chelsea are really, really looking for. Someone who can combine with the other Chelsea forwards, but when it, it becomes lackluster and breaks down, he'll drop a shoulder, he'll pop a shot off early, or he'll run in behind really quickly. He just offers loads of direct, dynamic, exciting and effective options for his football side. Side, club, the team, you know? Am oh, I melting down in the video so early? Usually I start failing to talk at the end. Yeah, anyway, Frank Lampard has alluded to wanting to maybe bolster a forward area in his squad. And more and more, the noises he's made is, yeah, a winger. I want a winger, without saying that directly, but that's the general gist. That's the sort of consolidated and transcribed gist of Frank Lampard and what he wants. Which is kind of contradictory a little bit because I don't know if he means that in January or if he means generally because this deal, this reported Jadon Sancho, it's a Chelsea deal being nearly done, is for the summer. Now basically it's a Christian Pulisic type deal where Chelsea cough up in January, they get the deal in January, they give him loads of money and they say, look, keep him to the end of the season, try and win the Bundesliga, see how far you get in the Champions League. Let Jadon Sancho continue on this incredible individual season for him, see how many goals and assists he can get. Don't break this good run of form. You're 19, you're in an amazing place. Continue that development, become the player you are always meant to be, etc. And apparently it's about 120 million, <laughs> which I guess is about right all things considered in terms of what he's doing and his profile but he is he really is an Eden Hazard replacement he's knocking out Eden Hazard numbers and although very he's very different stylistically he is that single player that offers a different option and is the different ma difference maker 
in a team. What does that mean for Chelsea? Well, it kind of means Christian Pulisic is going to have to be set down by Frank Lampard and him say, look, I'm, you're still my boy. Don't have like a heart attack that Sancho's following you around Europe, taking your spot in teams. Um, he'd have to obviously be convinced that everything is cool. And really, people like Pedro is going, William's probably going to go. There's going to be space. And formations change, you know. Pulisic might be played in the number 10. Who knows? I've maintained how I think he's better on the wing. And I've also maintained that Mason Mount needs genuine competition in the number 10 role. Like, genuine competition. Ross Barkley's the only other conventional number 10, like not Ruben Loftus-Cheek who's a central midfielder, not a number 10. Ross Barkley isn't putting pressure on anyone at the moment, so people talk about Kai Havertz being, you know, from Leverkusen, superb. I was born on FIFA and he'll be arriving in the next window on my FIFA save where my other channel, Yam Plays. Go subscribe by the way, click the link in the top of the description. So yeah, a genuine contender for a number 10. Maybe Pulisic would be reinvented there and Hudson-Odoi plays on the left. Sancho plays on the right. Imagine that, Tammy Abraham, Pulisic behind, Hudson Odoi on the left, Sancho on the right. I mean, it, come on. So a lot of this makes sense. He was voted in the team of the year last season. He broke records. He's already broke records this season. Sancho, that is. He's from London. He grew up with Tammy Abraham. He's besties with Callum Hudson Odoi. He's a Chelsea fan. He idolised Frank Lampard growing up, who is now the Chelsea manager. Apparently, Liverpool have pulled away from the potential purchase of him because of the money. Obviously, they've had an amazing deal in buying Minamino, who's just amazing business for Liverpool. And maybe he doesn't trust himself to get into that City side and doesn't fancy going to the likes of Man United because perhaps he doesn't believe in the project as much. Or maybe he just wants Champions League football and he's more likely to get that with Chelsea Football Club. So watch this space. I will, of course, keep you updated with all the JD and Sancho news as this story develops, right? It's not gospel. It's just another story from someone who usually gets stories right. And even if it is true, it doesn't mean he comes in January to save the season or bolster the season. It just means Chelsea are looking to finally reinvest that Eden Hazard money properly in a high profile superstar and one that fits the current Chelsea image. Right, so before we end the video, let's talk a little bit more about January. Chelsea probably need something to refresh the side, to inject a little bit of life. Now, if Chelsea genuinely are serious about securing the signature of Jadon Sancho for his arrival next transfer window, then maybe people like Wilfred Zaha are off the table. Although, well, I've recently spoken about it, I've listened to people talk about it, and I've changed my tune on him personally. I wasn't interested in him, but if Chelsea were never going to get Jadon Sancho, I would be like, yes, by Wilfred Zaha. Because I genuinely think he could be the difference in making top four, and the 80 million that would have to be invested in Wilfred Zaha would obviously be paid back immediately by a Champions League campaign next season and the money that brings. Zaha does offer something really different to what Chelsea have. He can play between the lines and when Chelsea recently are losing to West Ham, Bournemouth and can't break these teams down, Wilfred Zaha is the kind of player that can make the difference there and even if it's just wriggle in between and win a penalty for Jorginho to convert and Chelsea get the 1-0 win, that's enough. There are your points. Thank you very much. He's also devastating on the break, running down the flanks, combining. And he's been playing with not very good strikers of late. No offence to Christian Ben Teke and Andre Ayew. Tammy Abraham would do good bits on the break, playing one twos with Zaha scoring goals. Now, I don't think this is going to happen. If the Jadon Sancho story is to be believed, they will not spend 80 million on Zaha in January and then have yet another winger at the club that they don't know how to shoehorn in moving forwards. This is why I'm thinking stuff like enter Jeremy Boga. If Pedro leaves in January, goes to Villa, it does really look like Aston Villa need Pedro now. Bring in someone like Jeremy Boga to rotate in and out. And if Willian goes in the summer, he's a starter for Chelsea and to renew starter in Jadon Sancho. See what I mean? But Frank Lampard clearly wants to do some business in January. And I think maybe if he could do one player in January, he could really bring in one person. For me, it would be Ben Chilwell. Or indeed just a decent left back. Trust your front line to get better and combine or maybe get a Boga in or someone like that. Or like a second tier striker. If Giro goes in Jan, we've talked about Chiquizzi and Josh Madger and you know, the other choice of centre forwards in previous videos. If you haven't seen them, go check them out. But in terms of literally affecting the side so much to 
plug a vulnerability, help the attack, it would be a left back, someone like Ben Chilwell. If Chelsea's, <laughs> again, it's far-fetched and it's just a bit of a pipe dream, but if Chelsea did sign Ben Chilwell in January, Jaden Sancho in the summer, <laughs> Things would be very nice indeed. Still, we will have to see. But I want to get the thoughts and opinions of you lot. So get down in the comments below. Let me know your thoughts. What should Frank Lampard and Chelsea do in January? What should they do in the summer? Who should they be aiming for? Do you think Wilfred Zaha could be the difference for definitely securing top four and maybe just missing out? If you have been enjoying my content and are subscribed to Football Therapy, do go subscribe to my second channel to get more of me hanging out, chatting to you on the sofa, playing video games, talking about other stuff rather than just Chelsea, which is fun because I'm a nerd in video games and football generally. So make sure you click the link in the top of the description and subscribe to Yan Plays. Remember, you can follow me on social media at Football Yannick on both Instagram and Twitter. Uh, and that's it from me, guys. So you lot enjoy the football and I will see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living. I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines. I rap through thought. Body bag the verse. Outline the chuck. In my life seen trouble, hustle on the double Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle Yo chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble I only love this paper, sorry I don't I love me baby